What's up YouTube? Welcome to Cars, Cost, and Technology. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to unleash the full power of a C7 Corvette using the built-in drive mode selector. Now I wanted to make this video because I've spent the last couple of weeks reviewing different cars and I've found myself really fumbling around the interior looking for the different buttons and options to adjust the drive mode for the review. So I wanted to make sure I put together a good thorough review for you guys showing all the different drive modes on the C7 Corvette, uh, especially for you new Corvette owners or maybe potential Corvette buyers. It's very important that you understand each of these drive modes and all the features within each drive mode that you can use to maximize their performance. Now, before we get started and go over all the features, I want to make sure that you guys understand some of these drive modes and settings are not intended for public roads. They're meant only to be used on closed course, and I know that's normally something you kind of laugh at and just keep going, but in all seriousness, especially if you have, say, a Z06 and you turn some of these driver assist softwares off or things that we're going to show later in this video, you could be turning your car into an absolute weapon. So make sure you're very careful and you know what you're doing before you try these modes out and you're in the appropriate place as well. I just hate for anyone to get hurt using the information that they saw in this video. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at all five different drive modes. Um, this is directly from the Corvette owner's manual. You've got weather, eco, tour, sport, and track. Now obviously weather is going to be for inclement weather. Eco is going to be for the best fuel economy and tour is going to be for comfort when driving around town. Um, sport and track are going to be what we'll primarily focus on in this video because those are obviously the performance oriented drive modes. But you can see the different things that will change in your car when you adjust that drive mode are going to vary depending on how your car is equipped. But at the bare minimum, you're going to see a change in the throttle progression, in the steering feel, and the traction control depending on what mode you're in regardless of how your car is equipped and it could be much more uh, depending on all the different options that you've elected to have on your car but we're going to go ahead and jump back in here to the different drive modes and i'm going to show you not only what we just saw there on that graph but some of the additional layers within each drive mode that you can use to get more performance out of the car so I'm in sport mode here, and while we're in sport mode, I'm going to show you what the traction control button in the center of the mode selector does. Uh, with one single push, you're going to be able to turn off traction control. Now obviously traction control is pretty straightforward. This is a program intended to strictly limit wheel spin on the rear tires by applying either brake or limiting engine power to the rear wheels. Now what you just saw with a long press, two icons turn on, and basically what we just did there by long pressing is we turned off not only track control, but also turned off Stabila track. Now I want to make sure you guys know you know what these two programs do again traction control limits just rear wheel spin by uh, either applying braking or limiting engine power to the rear wheels stabila track on the other hand does still assist with wheel spin but it actually helps uh, control all four tires from getting out of control and it's more intended to keep you from drifting or losing the front end going uh, out of control off the road um, so stabila track is a completely different thing now with both of these two turned off say you are in track mode with both of these two turned off that is the most raw and unrestricted as well as unforgiving mode of your car. So make sure you use extreme caution if you're going to use this mode. It is, uh, can be very dangerous if you don't know how to use all the power of especially a Z06 or even a Grand Sport or a Stingray. Um, you know, with these two modes turned off, your car is um, going to be pretty unforgiving and it should not jump in and save you in, in pretty much any situation. I can't speak to that extent. I've never really pushed the limits of these modes or even really drove with them. I don't really see any reason to uh, with my level of experience these two things being turned on is probably going to make me drive faster than if they were off um, and I don't track my car but like I said with these two turned off in track mode you're going to get the most un uh, untamed and unforgiving version of your car and if you want to experience that make sure you're in a safe place but that's how you would access it by going into track mode and long pressing your traction control button until both of those two turn off now let's talk about a mode that's um, got a little more assistance built into it but probably will make you a faster driver so we're going to go over to track mode and you can still turn off traction control by itself you can still turn off stability track you know all the things that i just showed you in sport mode exactly the same but now that you're in track mode you have one more option available to you and that is double clicking. So when you double click the traction control button, which would not work in any other drive mode, in track mode, it turns on, uh, in my car, it's competitive mode, but if you have a car with a Z51 performance package or a Z06, it's gonna be the performance traction management, um, but pretty much the same concept, it's just the performance traction management gives you more options within, um, again, if you have a Z06 or a Z51, but the basic principle here is that trash control is turned off. So again, you, you do not have trash control turned on. Stabila track is still on to a certain extent. Um, in competitive mode on a non-Z51 or non-Z06 car, competitive mode is basically going to give you very, very limited assistance from Stabila track. Um, but it does give you the option to use features like launch control, which is a really cool feature I know a lot of people are interested in. You can access that by putting the uh, brake pedal all the way to the floor and the 
accelerate all the way to the floor in automatic or clutch all the way to the floor and the accelerate all the way to the floor in a manual transmission. But so this is the only drive mode that launch control is going to be available in. Now, again, if you have a Z51 or Z06, you're going to see additional options like um, I think it's five different modes that you can select from that go even further in depth of how you want stability track to interfere with your driving and how you want it to assist you at the track. So, um, you know, again, you can kind of use these to fine tune your experience. And again, it's, it's going to vary a lot depending on where you're driving at and what you're trying to accomplish. But I just want to show you guys some of these modes, how they're going to interact with the car and what they're going to uh, give you the ability to do. But once again, in track mode, double clicking the traction control uh, button that's going to put you into whether you have performance traction management or a competitive driving mode and that's arguably going to be the fastest mode for most drivers considering it's got some driver assistance still built in there to help make sure you don't get totally out of control but you know make no mistake this still has traction control turned off so this still could get out of hand pretty quickly and you still want to um, definitely approach it with a lot of respect and understanding of how much power uh, these cars have so uh, but anyway guys just a quick recap you know single press on the traction control off button in pretty much any mode is going to turn off your traction control long pressing the traction control button is going to turn off your stability track and your traction control um, and then going into track mode and double clicking the uh, traction control button is going to launch either your performance traction management or your competitive driving mode depending on how your car is equipped which like i said even though it does still have a little bit of uh, restrictions built in there it's arguably going to be the fastest mode for your average uh, driver so Hopefully you, uh, you found that information helpful, guys. I'm also gonna go over some tips here for the automatic transmission. Um, I actually have the A8. Uh, I know in earlier models it's a uh, six-speed, but I have the eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, you wanna make sure that you put this into manual mode when you go to use the paddle shifters. Uh, if you pull on the paddles, it won't actually stay. Um, it'll go back into automatic mode for you. tip for using the paddle shifters and the automatic A8 transmission. If you hold down the left hand paddle briefly, it'll actually drop you from the gear that you're currently in to the lowest possible gear for the speed you're going, which gives you those great sounding downshifts like I just played. And uh, it also feels really cool if you're going into a corner or say you're on a straight shift, you want to get your RPMs up, get more power, uh, just to be able to pull that down briefly, drop into the right gear and take off. It's pretty awesome feeling. And the car does all the uh, uh, thinking there for you and decides which gear would be best so pretty cool feature and I really enjoy that the transmission works well in both automatic mode or manual mode but I just want to show you guys a couple of pointers when you're using it in manual mode to get the most out of it um, but overall a very intelligent transmission there's not much you really need to do to it to get the uh, most out of it now uh, since I've got the camera on the gauge cluster I did want to go back in here for you briefly and just show you some of the different um, configurable gauges uh, you've probably seen this before obviously if you own a, a C7 Corvette this is uh, nothing new to you but for those of you that don't own one whether you have a c6 or you're just thinking about buying a corvette in general i want to show you these gauges because i think they're really cool and it was one of the uh, major selling points for me was just how awesome the new gauges were and the technology in this car so i uh, just want to show you a little bit about these gauges and how they interact with the engine you know i'm going to rev it a little bit for you guys uh, but just kind of give you an idea of what each gauge looks like right now i've got it in touring mode um, you can see off to the side you've got a little configurable section i'm in the in information section right now which shows me miles per hour but um, that can be changed to show all types of different either performance data audio uh, information navigation information whatever you'd like to show there to the side if we switch over to sport uh, you can see the gauge changes a little bit and this one's a little more aggressive um, but still gives you you know some cool information looks great um, nothing too crazy here but again in the center you can see it's still got that configurable piece you can change that out with oh man it's probably like 30 or 40 different items that could go in that center i like seeing the miles per hour since my car doesn't actually have the heads up display but uh, and lastly we've got track this is one of my favorite modes i love how it's got the uh, rpm gauge and uh, swoops across looks really cool i don't know if you can notice at the top but it's actually got shift lights which you may have noticed in the intro of this video it gives you an indicator of when to shift if you're using the uh, uh, manual transmission or the manual mode with the paddles so really cool different gauges there um, 
Again, there's a lot of videos out there showing more, but since I had my camera already on, I figured I'd show you guys a few clips there. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found out something new about your Corvette or something new that you'll be implementing when you get your Corvette. But again, be careful with any of these drive modes that we've talked about, guys. Some of them uh, can be somewhat dangerous, but overall, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if it's your first time stopping in. Have a great day, guys.